at the Enterprise Center. He'll be up against Stanley Cup winning coach Jared Bednar, who's had a little bit of a struggle here on the road recently with his squad. Yeah, they have not won a road game since November 24. He can't get it. Now Manson for the Avalanche. That's cut off and kept in by Hayes. For Torchenko, right in front. Knocked down. Right pad saved by Georgiev. And we get a whistle. Blues get the puck. Now McKechnie to play. Back for Pareko. Delay penalty here against the Avalanche. And a shot by McKechnie was wide. And they get the first power play tonight. Blues win the faceoff back to Tori Peru. There's Kai Rufer Thomas. Which David parked in front. That shot wide. And then Shen under pressure from Byram. Mavs keep it alive. And a centering pass, wide open, and they score! Manson from the slot, and it's 1-0 Colorado. Curtis McDermott is a huge man. They get in on the forecheck, and big 56 goes right to the front of the net here. They're right in the blue paint there. I don't know if the Blues are going to take a look at this. I think they're going to challenge this call as McDermott goes straight into the blue paint, doesn't even try to alter his course. And then Jordan Bennington unable to... You know, they generally give the coaches about, you know, 45 seconds or so to make a decision. St. Louis is challenging the play to determine if there was goaltender interference prior to the goal. So they are challenging for goalie interference. After coaches challenge video review, it was determined that there was goaltender interference. So a great challenge by Drew Bannister. To the line, Scandella. Brunovich wide open, right in, shoots, and a glove saved by Georgia. And then Robert Thomas trying to work in front, pass in front, rolling puck, Shen gets it back, now Thomas wide open, and a save by Georgia. What a shot there, and a great chance for Buchnevich. Now Krug winds and fires right on goal, save by Georgia. And now Thomas sets up shot. Here comes Shen in, he'll drop it off for Thomas, then back to Krug. Thomas again, Luke Davich in the slot. Group winds, shoots it, on goal, big rebound, Thomas gets it. Now Butch Davich, handed back, in for Thomas. Butch Davich, wide open, another great chance, and he missed the goal, and he's frustrated. And apparently he's all right, that's good to see. As now the puck is fed in front, no one there for the abs. Tipped to the line though, kept in, and a shot from the point by the rookie, Sam Malinsky, and a save by Binnington. And McKinnon's pass, blocked by Kapitan. And now Torpchenko trying to go around Malinsky, the former captain at Cornell. His son is a free agent last year. Torpchenko in on the forecheck, all over Malinsky. As four players battle for it, Kapitan finds it. Now back to Fall, and a shot on goal, and a save by Georgia, who's been sharp early. Now the captain trying to center one. That's off the glove of Taves. And then Neighbors in there, back to the line, Prunovich. And now for Kapanen. To the net, in front, Shen was there. Kept in by Scandella. And they get hit Wood. Pressure by the Avalanche. Their best zone time of the period. Byram across. Now Manson, shot from the wing. Rebound, they score! Chopped that by Johansson, and he makes it one nothing. Look at it. here's Manson keeps the puck in. Shot on net from a bad angle by Drew in. The puck drops in front, and Johansson right there just goes up underneath the arm of Jordan Bennington from the Plaza Tire goalie cam. Goes right into that. And Thomas quickly on to center for Cairo. Return pass to Thomas. He comes in with speed to Buchnevich. Gets it back. Shoots it on goal and a save by Georgia. Here comes McCarr, going wide on Letty. He rings it around the boards. McKinnon gave it away, and a short-handed breakaway for Robert Thomas. All alone, in and goal, he scores! A short-handed goal to tie the game! So they're good friends. Kept in by Taves. Now it's Byram with it for the Avalanche, back for Taves. Five to go in the captain minor. And a shot from the wing, on goal, saved by Binnington. And no rebound. Pass up the middle. What a pass to Letty. 
He darts right through a man and a shot on goal. And a save by Georgia. Right Home break awaiting. Nick Letty, by the way, came off the bench. And then he uses that excellent speed. This time to Cairo. He comes in with speed. Cairo shooting one. That goes wide. Centered by Falk. And where is it? Under the pad of Georgia. That was close. No, no, it is the speed and skill those guys have. That's quite a, an accomplishment. So underway here in the second period. Blues dump it in. And Georgiev sets it up. Pass to center for McKinnon. Drops it off to Rantanen. And the big spin knocked down there by Jordan Cairo. And now the Blues head north with Pareko. Pass for Buchnevich. Waiting to the net. On goal and a save by Georgiev. Outlet now for Sammy Blay. Here is McEpperin rather racing in. And Blade picks up the loose puck. Back to fall. Handcuffed a bit. Now a shot. On goal. Rebound. Sundquist a shot. And a save by Georgia. And back to the line again. Fall to Sundquist. Turns and shoots it. And a save by. That's dumped in by O'Connor. Bennington wanders here. Good play around to Kapanen. This pass blocked. And not cleared. And now Manson for the line. He walks in, shoots it on goal. Springs it around the near wall. There's Letty to get it. And that did not come out. And Johansson for Wood. At the line, Byron fires it on goal. And he shovels it high and goes off on a line change. McEachern, a big hit. In on Byron. And the Blues forced a turnover. Sunquist a shot on goal. We'll see what happens ultimately in the third period, but having zero shots on two attempts on one of the greatest players in the world is, is a great accomplishment. Absolutely. So the Blues on the power play underway here. Angles went off the boards, right in front, no one home for the Blues. And the Avs on it, and here comes McKinnon to Druin, to McRanton it. Right in, a shot, and Ranton it, put it high, and that goes out of play. He missed everything this evening, but. You got to watch a guy like Nathan McKinnon. He gets that good speed. He varies his speeds, and that creates gaps. And right there, Rantanen snaps the puck. I believe Jordan Bennington may have gotten a piece of this as Rantanen gets right in tight. And right there, I think, off the blocker of Jordan Bennington. Ormchenko on the fourth check. Stole it. And now Hayes gets it for St. Louis in this 1-1 game. To Ormchenko. Wrap around right in front to the goal crease. And no one was there. And now Torpchenko again. He scored a great goal in Denver on November 11th. Hayes for Crew. He walks right in. And a backhander rolls just wide. Maybe off the pad of Georgia. Throws it around back down to Rantanen. And it's passed back to McCarr. Kale McCarr trying to get free. Runs into Perunovic. And then a call here, I think, on the Blues. Play on here as Kale McCarr, he's spinning right there, his stick is caught, and then he just, it's broken. Maybe that's what it is, playing the puck with a broken stick, but how would you even know? Against Bennington in a 1-1 game. McCarr in, and a glove saved by Bennington. Ends up with Kale McCarr here on the penalty shot, trying to go top shelf. Jordan Bennington grabs that, says no, thank you, sir, and kicks that away with some swagger to it. Jordan Bennington, you know he wanted this one too. He's a big time goaltender and he wants those moments. Georgiev can't knock it down. Now saw it for Hayes. And he was checked. Avalanche up the middle, Rantanen. Here he comes with McKinnon. He goes wide, McKinnon cuts in. And a save by Bennington. Opportunity. You just see how fast he is here. And it doesn't take much. His whole Pareko is a big, tall guy, good speed. And still, Nathan McKinnon managed to drive here, and that little shot right there. Jordan now Sundquist and Johansson dig in. Johansson wins it back. Taves shoots, he scores! Taves let it go. It might have been tipped, and the Avalanche lead two to one. Well, a little bit of a we pick it up here right from the crash and then taste it certainly hit something I'm not sure if it's the back side of the and now Krug finds it and that goes wide 
time running down Buchnevich, and that's blocked by Byram, and the Avalanche hang on and win 2-1. to one.